Hey, as more and more people are getting vaccinated, we're in our second year of this pandemic, uh, wondering where we actually stand. So the person who can answer this for us, our medical expert, welcoming back Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. Good to see you. Good to see you, Sonia. Thank you so much. Good I'm doing these stretches, Dr. Winter, because I just got my second vaccine at 8 a.m. today. Terrific. So good far, so good. You're protected now. We'll be in two weeks. I will be in two. Yeah, not quite yes. yet. Well, you know, this this leads me to my first question, right? Um, a lot of people are, you know, we're starting to hear about these cases where they're not breakthrough cases, but people are getting you know, COVID illness between doses or before they're fully protected. Is this due to COVID fatigue, do you think? Or, uh, you know, maybe they're not sort of understanding that they need to wait? Well, indeed, you can get uh, the virus in between before you're fully vaccinated. Uh, usually it's a mild case, so even the first dose of Moderna or Pfizer, that'll help you some. There's another condition called COVID fatigue, though, that's different, not from a vaccine, not from the illness, but from what actually stress of isolation, inability to be with friends and family you can't visit like you used to, travel restrictions, fear of getting sick vaccine concerns. We're seeing more and more of this, unfortunately. A recent article came out that talks about this with physicians. Very alarming. One in five physicians now are considering retiring, doing something mm -hmm. different. Two thirds of physicians say they are exhausted, they're stressed, they're burned out. I've talked to other patients of mine in other industries, so it's not just in healthcare. A lot of folks are just fatigued from this whole pandemic, this whole year of the pandemic. We're talking, we're encouraging people to talk about that. Mm. Don't hide your feelings. Talk with someone else, a loved one, a friend, a coworker, then reach out to them. Don't just say, how are you doing? How are you responding to this pandemic? How, are you feeling stress? When's the last time you took some time off? Yeah. Stress is out there. I think we need to talk about it. Talking helps it, calms it down. Also to help you find those people that may be near the breaking point and need some professional assistance, Sonia. Yeah, I think these are all important points. And if I'm being honest, I feel a lot of those ways myself, you know, in, in terms of just Tired a lot more, um, you know, and I think that's because of, in part, the uh, overflow of information, right? For instance, we're hearing a lot about these cases in mm -hmm. India, COVID cases in India, and a lot of folks go, well, are we okay here? Should we be concerned? How concerned about variants? And could something like that happen here? Oh, yeah, we're doing well here. Cases are down the last couple of weeks around the country, including Michigan, where there's a huge spike two weeks ago. That's the good news. But they're going crazy in India. Also, Brazil, Germany, Italy, France are also seeing spikes. So this virus is still highly contagious. It's spreading. And when it spreads, it has a chance to mutate. Mutation, we also call it a variant, can be, potentially can be, more contagious, more deadly, and more resistant to vaccines. So we need to be really concerned. This war with the, with the virus is not over yet, Sonia. We got a ways to go. Yeah, um, you know, I haven't had a chance to speak with you since Johnson & Johnson vaccine has been put back into the rotation. What are your patients asking mm -hmm. you and what are you telling them about its safety and efficacy? Yeah, a lot of questions about that. What I tell them is, in fact, there are 15 cases that have come out with blood clots. Now, that's one in a million. Look at all the doses that have been given of Johnson & Johnson. And all those were in women under age 40. So it looks like it's a safe vaccine. I'm telling people I think it is safe. If you want to get the single shot, that's an advantage there. In fact, people say, well, which one do you prefer? Which one should I get? I give the same answer. Get the one that you can get today or tomorrow. The sooner you get it, the better. They're all good vaccines, Sonia. Okay, I'm gonna keep working out this arm <laughs> and I'll let you guys know how I feel tomorrow. <laughs> rub, rub, rub. All right, Dr. Winter, <laughs> thank you. Good to see you, appreciate it.